đó à con mạnh thế là con mạnh thế mà này dạng này trai mở thế cu si la So lady, how do you lay low job guitar lady? They ask you to play a lot of songs. Mm. Well, you've got this lady, how do you And um, the most thing that I so if they ask me to take a me, I'll probably start off with uh, something like this uh, the uh, Steve Miller Joker. Yeah, so. Uh,
the center line theory, right? So if I bring right now for this, right? So again, this is the first thing you can do with this line So again, text point line area. Yeah. That's how you do it. So that's basically the first thing um, the first thing. The second thing the second thing is okay the shortest distance between two points of okay? So again this car right, has up here choices to choose two points we completed it here. Understand that. Uh tell you what it's here, eh? Or they don't see the form so you see you see gun and say in the one. No, you had to get full cup. You can get cover full K in our forms. Yamakotapigawaiti, Master and Wing Chun, 
in schools in America, of course, kids usually do plays. I got my love for acting there. And then I started studying to become an engineer and only did engineering for a couple of years. Economic circumstances in the U.S. made me jump out to China and find a role, find a, a way to get into the field out there. Yeah, I'd like to see more Asian Americans or Asians in in acting. So I don't know if I go to As a child, my father had the money and the passion to take the classes because he was he wanted to go out, learn something, and beat people up with it. 十三歲送這個年就跟小龍去學泳春上二老問到我想他當時應該是五尺即是跟大家差不多都不到百國五百五百國他們的力很厲害很快 they knew each other since my father started when he was like 11. Mm. So they weren't high school buddies so much as like friends as children. So my father's, my father had a sort of a cousin, much older than him, who was already an established act, actress, female actor at the time. And she had a, you know, she had a, a proper house with a swimming pool and everything. And Bruce, you know, his father was already in entertainment. Bruce would come over and then they'd hang out at his cousin's pool. Mm. And they just were friends together. And they both liked to go fight in the streets, just scrapping with little kids. Bruce had a passion for Kung Fu. Mm. And he was, my father and Bruce followed his cousin to a production she was working on. And mm. Bruce met some as far as I understand it, in my father's book anyway, Bruce had met um, some master there who sort of taught him some stuff and they would try to use that in fighting <laughs> to not very good effect. And then they just sort of kept doing that. They would go to different teachers at the time, mm. take some lessons, see if it worked, until one day Bruce came to my dad and was like, oh, I gotta show you something. It's, yeah found this guy, Wing Chun, and like nobody knew about it. So this was 1951, two, something like that, three. And uh, basically just did a chain punch my dad, you know, beat him up a bunch. And he's like, no, 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 no let's try this again on the rooftop. Try on a rooftop. There's more room here, I can run around. He's just chase him around, and none of that classical kind of, you know, set form stuff worked well. And so my dad was like, all right, I gotta meet this old guy.你们左手<笑> 
，大家新年快乐！谢谢，大家新年乐。啊，在下面写，八边鱼怎么写啊？The last time I learned Kung Fu before I moved to Hong Kong was in my last year of university.、Uh, that was back in 1998, 1999, and I was learning Shaolin Kung Fu at the time. Then I moved to Hong Kong, and it took me ten years to find Long Si Fu,、uh, who could teach me Shaolin Kung Fu and Tai Chi. I tried Tai Chi at the time, and it just wasn't right at that moment. So I went with、uh, Shaolin. Then life happened. After which, it was 2016. By the time I found a Facebook ad by Darren Lung, and Uh, turned up to his class on、uh, in November at some point, and he was late by half an hour because he was suffering from jet lag.、Uh, he'd just gotten back from the states from filming. I believe it was It Man, and so the first lesson started late, finished late. Then in the second lesson, another Wing Chun student turned up, who turned out to be Michael. So、uh, by the time the third lesson rolled over, maybe the fourth, I decided to try learning Wing Chun with Michael, and found out that he also taught Krav Maga. Over the course of a couple of months, Michael and Darren became good friends. I stayed in touch with them both, and after that,、um, I took up yoga for a year.、Um, That was just prior to the pandemic, which shut down the gym event, essentially. So no more yoga. On the other hand, I did find out that all the stretching, all the、uh, poses, etc., were actually re- a really good fit for me. So I've started doing some of that at home again. And then with this school. Uh, we have, I would say, a kung fu university where every night different teachers do teach courses in different arts. We have、uh, Young Si Fu teaching、uh, Tai Chi, Ba Gua,、uh, and then we have Tong Bei and、uh, Dang, Dang Si Fu teaching Silom Fat Gua and Thai boxing. Michael Chan Si Fu teaching Wing Chun,、um, Max Si Fu teaching Hong Kian. Yeah, so every night it's different, different class, different teachers. And then the other thing that happened was that we had COVID hit, which meant like well, no one's going to want to come here to train, or even if they wanted to, they're not going to be allowed to. And then I was my partner in crime, Elizabeth, who said, "You know what? We're going to go online. We'll start doing Zooms." And I, in my wisdom, and, and Sifu, in the wisdom, were like, "This is never going to work." And but she's a force of nature, so Liz said, "We're going to do it." So we started, and it's been incredible. Hello, everybody. All my Facebook friend and my Kung Fu brother sister. Welcome to our webinar. Today we are going.、Uh, we we are keep on to talk about the Lao Ga Ku, the basic form. This basic form is very short. It's very short for the beginner. It's easy to learn, easy to remember. And I think we genuinely have taken、um, proper, very、um, disciplined, and、uh, fine, finally. Toned teaching of Honga to social media, to the web, to like an, an internet platform that was not there before. Tiger Claw push out, not push left, push forward. And now, what move your step 
and only turn your wrist and open. Right. Now, chop and pass the center line before you chop the wrist. And now, pass the center line and pull back, turn, kick, step. <laughs>
站裝落姿勢，嚇咁佢嗱第一招上嚟嘅時候咧，咁佢落嚟咯喎，佢落嚟之後，咁我哋交叉手啦，嚇，咁佢上向上向上托，喺呢度托上去，向上推啦下一招，向上，咁呢個頭要向上望嘅，同隻手一齊向上，嚇，跟住向兩邊分開，下隻手咧就向兩邊分開，落翻。落翻嚟之後，都係喺呢度咁樣上，交叉手上嚟，啊，好。你譬如講翻太極，好明顯就係動功啊，要喐噶嘛。嗱，咁佢動功係咩意思咧？嗱，首先我哋講翻我哋身體上邊嗰個經絡，啊，咁啊，我哋嘅氣血就喺經絡入邊運行啊嘛。咁啊，咁我哋嘅經絡就好似馬路咁樣，咁氣咧。就好似馬路上面啲車咁樣，咁我睇咯嚇。咁動工嘅意思係咩？動工嘅意思就係話，誒、欸、我要喐嘅，咁即係我擺好自己身體嗰個動作，擺好個姿勢。咁你擺好咗之後，即係話你將個姿勢擺好咗，即係話你將呢個經絡啦，即係將馬路咧，你全部擺翻靚佢，將啲馬路擺翻好佢，執翻正佢，咁啲車咪自己識行咯。啊，咁呢個動工嗰個嚟。時候，大家可以喺任意喺呢個空間度走動，諗一諗，我而家嘅狀態係點樣噶？我跟住前。
job because of the fact that it was exacerbating uh, my spinal problems. My spine uh, is actually crooked. It's like um, how a sidewinder snake would move. And the stresses of the job uh, and the sitting positions just weren't helping, which also meant that um, I had to find a way to straighten my back. For two years, I went to a Chinese doctor, physiotherapist, um, and yeah, it was enormously helpful. However, uh, there's still a lot of work that I need to do on my own uh, before I can really get back into uh, Kung Fu again. Because with the spinal cord out of alignment, um, it's affecting how far and how fast I can actually progress in Kung Fu. Even if I'm standing still, say in Wing Chun, which doesn't require as much movement as Shaolin or Tai Chi. On the other hand, it does require a strong core, which is what I need to work on. So having quit my full-time job, I set up uh, my own company to do English tutoring, which allows me uh, more flexible time and is also helpful uh, in that it contributes towards my uh, real passion, which is crochet. Cat bag. When I went to America, I was 10 years old. 咁咪有人提議咧，就話叫我留喺度教功夫。咁啊，當時開始去嗰陣係紐約，咁啊紐約好亂，收尾有人咧就喺 Virginia Beach 請 Virginia 請我過去教，有幾個城市嘅學校、警察學堂教 Norfolk 啊、Virginia Beach 啊嗰啲教。咁啊，收尾咧就喺 Navy。誒海軍嗰度教誒 SEAL Team Two 同 Four， 同埋就喺 State 嗰度咧嘅 Port Authority 教。He had gone to visit a friend in a restaurant, and back then New York was an incredibly dangerous place, gangs fighting all the time, and he just happened to be there when these gangbangers showed up. I guess they were demanding money, or a fight broke out, and just sort of like open hand, like single-handedly beat the guys out of the restaurant. And there's a bit more behind that story, but then it turns out there was a couple of off-duty cops 
at the restaurant and they were just like, we need to learn whatever it is you're doing for our guys on the force. There were SEALs who would come out and look for, you know, combat instruction from capable people and the war got around because my father had his reputation as being a tough guy. My father actually knew producers and got, in, got involved with producers in Hong Kong for the business reasons in the 70s and maybe even earlier in the 70s, late, late 60s. He knew people already. <clears throat> so we had like a whole library of obscure action movies, Chinese action flicks. And Enter the Dragon was already uh, with like, a copy of that on beta. just another movie. I mean, stylistically, it was worlds apart from all the other fantasy drama action movies that we had. But I, mean, I thought it was great. It was just like, of course, you know, there's this guy, Bruce Lee. I remember there's like a Bruce Lee cartoon or something where I don't think I've ever seen it since, but it's like Bruce Lee in, fighting like mythical creatures or something. Tan 我想知道剛才為什麼 Hong 十七八歲的時候李小龍就回來香港是很科學的喝了一喝功夫一喝一喝帶我上去看帶我去我師父紅拳那間館那裡 
Eurasian twin rappers and also the only ones. Who got selected to represent Hong Kong? That's true. Amazing. All right, uh, just pick a number, guys. One to eight. What do you guys? Well, want? I was gonna say, just why don't you play champion? Just champion? Yeah, why not? Well, well, just play a few, but start with champion. Yeah, but that after I got like a. Kind okay, do, of well, I need, thing. well, what, what? No, no, just play. It's gonna be pretty noisy though. Just because so, you know, after I'm done with the music, I'm gonna. You have to give us. A, we're gonna sit and do a little bit of an interview here, and then okay. so I'll be hit, need the room for like ten minutes or so. Okay. Right. Can you just play the bit of the track? And then. Come on, see there. 和他一人參觀的時候我試過叫他跟我一起玩刀一起玩劍一起玩棍一起玩拳哇我最記得的是那個玩大哥大師兄玩關刀他的人很高他的表情哇他玩關刀很神奇那有時候開始一三五就玩
，你搞唔到我嘅攻击性嘅喎，连连人都咬嘅喎。咁你知唔知佢喺边度？佢夜晚就喺呢度有成十隻，嗰度有有有五六隻，分兩班伏嘅，佢唔會聚埋一齊。叫做 boys 咯，係嘛？啊，佢正式嘅秋田狗嚟啊！我去旅行翻嚟，咁啊嗰晚夜就未見到佢同個朋友食飯。咁個狗咧就係一個外國人咧，喺長洲嗰度，咁啊攞咗翻嚟話佢太細，同埋教唔教到乜都唔識。佢話咁蠢嘅，佢話俾咗我啦。咁我帶咗翻嚟，寄養喺人哋一個月。擺喺度綁住，然後咧就帶佢翻嚟呢屋企，之後慢慢教佢啦。原來佢好叻嘅，教下教下佢乜都識，上車啦，落車啦，啊，自己乜都唔使你樣樣跟住佢嘅，自己就識得上車啊，食飯啊，乜都係。你唔叫佢唔食嘅喎，話咗俾佢聽佢先肯食嘅喎，係好特色嘅呢只狗啊。落大雨咧就喺度落雨淋住等你翻嚟啦，呢、这個就係、是。一般你狗少做得到啊！啊，佢偷走出去玩嘅，平時就，咁但係最後唔見咧，係咪病啊？定點就唔見咗啦？本來冇鐵板嘅，就因為佢爬咧，我識加嘛，先做啲加咯。呢度每一塊鐵板咧，都係佢爬過嘅時候加落去嘅。佢爬一次，我就加塊。佢最後嗰日咯，我臨走去旅行之前幫佢影噶啦，係養咗八年啦，先至唔見咗咋。
其實我自己本身咧都預咗預誒見到同埋自己感受到咧，就俾人欺凌咯。嗯嗯。咁當然咧反抗嘅。嗯嗯。咁我自己本身開始誒、呃、學學跆誒跆拳道咧，就我已經十一歲噶啦嗰陣時。嗯。咁我唔知道你嗰、那個誒、呃、經驗咧係咪有啲相似咧？係啊係啊，即係我都差唔多我十，好似十歲開始誒誒、嗯呃、學康修道，我我哥就即係同我一齊去去練咯。不過你誒點解好咧？即係即係如果俾人哋蝦，咪可以誒、呃、保護自己，保保護自己啊！誒誒，即係可以咁樣講咧。咁。即係細細個嗰陣時，即係讀中學嗰陣時咧，喺英國咧都都都有時都有打交，即係同啲咩咩蝦人哋啊呢呢樣各樣都都有幾次。誒、嗯，咁我最誒、呃、即係最點講啊？最衰係嘛？<笑>最衰咧，我廿一歲咧，即係啱啱誒去讀誒、呃、讀緊大學。嗰陣時翻翻嚟，我哋個可以咁樣講，我哋個村咧，即係同啲中學嗰啲朋友去飲飲誒誒飲酒咧，咁又又俾人哋捉，捉埋捉咗誒，即係俾喺喺個卡帕嚟，佢喺酒酒吧酒吧又俾人哋誒誒啊塌咗咯。咁、嗯、我有一歲咧，我我都學咗。紅砂道啊，同埋啊喺秒鐘準都空殺過誒鬧交功夫，係，然後 I 誒 ，yeah， when I got attacked， when I got attacked， I felt really useless。I don't know， you know， thinking back at the time， I was thinking， you know， why I felt scared， useless， and also didn't know how to retaliate、嗯。就所以我嘅三個朋友咧，都都俾人哋打傷咗。到咗廿五歲啲先先至學咗換槍咯。嗯、um, ，and again just why start to w i n t e r I saw 即係搬咗落倫敦做嘢。誒喺個報紙正誒、uh, 我師傅咧喺度買告白，咁我話去啊 ，OK 去咯，去去去去睇下咯。第一，穿去穿越，啊，去穿越，穿越，穿越就是那个，穿越就是当老板了，企业。对。第三个，探险，啊，探险，探险，啊，探险家。对。那时候又是呢，就是嗯，有两段。当困难来临的时候，就是有两道门。的时候，请你轻易的左手，左手打开这扳架，它不会向你低头。当你打架的时候，请你轻易的右手，右手打开这
，宽，然后勇气，是吗？好像不是。然后继续，没关系啊。当左手拍下右手，我们能够擦肩而过。左手拍下左手，我们的力量将会有天堂。当你的手拉着我的手，团结的力量彼此感受，有方向，有决心，有节奏，一起牵着手向前走。谢谢，太棒了，很好听。嗯、我觉得得改变很多，你去了发现回来。是吗？是吗？真的，你认识，你曾认识他没有？嗯，哦，在发现之前没认识他。你确定没有认识吗？认识啊，你觉得他有？同学。你小学同学啊？你觉得他有改变吗？去了华山之后。小学同学，但是我不是很熟悉，我也忘了。嗯，那在华山时候跟现在呢有什么区别？现在。嗯。表达自己的这个思想。表达很清楚。很清楚啊。真的，以前那不不不很内向是吧？现在能打开你的心扉，然后讲出来，很清清楚。我觉得我一点都没有变。有啊，有变啊，很快的。啊，这九年级的考高中，你们目标是？我想听听你们目标是什么。我我想听啊。心里面没写你们的目标，嗯，就是必须有说清楚。如果我我现在确定的话，能考上高中的话，呃，我会向着嗯实、呃、就是实验班那里去。如果我现在还就是成绩不好的话，呃，必须得呃，就是我的目标就是必须得考上高中，就是这个。嗯，好，放心。啊，我我说我，我们我提出一个计划，为供你们读书的，啊，比如说你考考上高中，都一样，考上高中是，呃，一两两千，资助你们，啊，那必须考上高中，因为没考上高中就没有了，啊，还有必须要提醒你们写信，啊，要主动写，啊，知道没有？啊，你记得哪一哪一趟也不容易啊，从花山拿过来，不容易，困难在哪里啊？困难吧，用的太远。用太远了是吗？推手嗰個，我哋著重嗰、那個，即、就、係、是、我哋首先最最明顯嗰個分別，推手我哋唔會有擊打噶啦，我哋冇擊打嘅動作嘅。咁推手我哋訓練嗰個目的都係以。誒、啊、重心同埋平衡為主嘅，點樣去控制自己個重心啊？點樣去破壞對方嘅平衡啊？呢個係訓練推手嗰個最主要嗰個內容嚟嘅。咁譬如話，如果我哋企喺度嘅時候咧，嚇、啊、咁我哋企度要要令對方失平衡企唔穩嘅話，咁譬如話，如果我向呢邊推啦，咁我打直推嘅時候咧，咁你後邊隻腳會撐住噶嘛？咁、okay. 如果我拉你嘅時候咧，你亦都會前面隻腳企喺度。咁如果我想，我想令到你企唔穩，想令到你失咗個重心嘅時候，咁我攞個方向其實就嗱呢邊啦，一係呢個方向，一係呢個方向，咁我我推嘅時候咧，我推呢邊啦，咁你就會俾兩邊企得穩啦，或者拖嘅時候咧，呢呢邊啦，啊呢邊你就會企唔穩，咁其實太平。我推手練習時候嗰個目的就係要對方企唔穩。誒，即係推手嚟講咧，誒，即係最緊要係揾揾個中線，攞個攞人哋個中線先。咁而家我中線咧，而家擺咗呢度。嗯。你你如果擺個護手上嚟，你可以即刻。喺呢度啊。哦。即係呢個最最直。嗯。打落去。人哋都可以黐住。哦。你都可以黐住，一一打咧可以抹。誒，呢樣咩？可以打殺嘅。哦。唔得我。細個嘅時候。都係乜都唔知㗎啦，都係睇完《玄學小説》咁啊
睇咗，又係睇李連杰，睇完之後咁你個個都中意嗰啲小朋友，跟住阿爸阿媽話啊，叫你去練功夫啊咁啊，練到咁肯定好噶啦，唔會話唔好噶嘛，細個嗰陣肯定係咁咁啊，無啦啦咁開始咗練㗎。哦，係嘛？其實你喺香港開始練啊，還是即刻送咗你去小林寺？嗰陣係送咗去小林寺嗰度。小林寺北。係啊，北小林咯，即係河南嗰度，河南河南中山嗰度。哦，咁只係話一送過去咧，就有。一嗰陣時一去去咗三年啦。阿龍啊，我想問誒四樣嘢。係。誒，我哋永春咧，即係誒冇呢啲嘢，即係誒誒吞啦、偷嚇，即係啲數。套套沉啦，同埋浮呢三樣嘢，浮呢三樣嘢咧，我哋會出冇啊！你你你你啲你,你知啦。啊，或者我試下做下你睇係係咪你所講嗰樣嘢啦？即係譬如話誒，即、呃、係我哋講緊即係用力嘅時候啦。譬如話誒，譬如你你推上嚟啦，譬如你推上嚟啦。咁譬如話你用力推嘅時候。啊！你用用去推上嚟，咁而家我哋係對住嘅力啦。啊！咁如果你對住力嘅時候，咁譬如我哋吞咗入去嘅時候，你可能可以改變嗰個力嘅方向。啊！即係譬如你用嚟推，嚇、啊！咁我我我吞咗入去嘅時候，我改變咗個力嘅方向咧，咁你嗰個力點轉變咗咧，咁你就冇咁冇咁容易發力咯。嚇、啊！即係一呢個力點嘅改變咯。你試試。太極。我哋主要都係要要沉噶嘛，我哋嗰重心要要要夠低啦。如果你練太極，誒、呃、對太極了解嘅話，太極嗰重心要低，咁其實就係為咗我哋嗰重心要穩啦。咁所以我哋就即係、就是、馬步要要都要沉住喺度，將個重心沉落去咯，係咪呢方面？係、yeah. 咯。咁浮咧？浮就浮沉。浮係咪即係可能意思係唔可以死啊？可能啲力唔可以死啦？即係其實就算沉，重心要沉啦，但係仍然係步伐係需要靈活嘅。My sequel, my sequel at the time, right, asked me to to not to go out and challenge other schools, but just to try the different styles. And I didn't want to start another Oriental style. Yeah. So uh, the so the non-Oriental one that I chose was was Krav Maga. Why? Because they have a lot of techniques. Huh. So purely based on the. Technique and I, the Chocho Chocho Hop one time, I was like, "Hop, hop, three weeks, see how it is." Been there for seven years. Then, then what thing do we need? Need to go there? 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 你可以用，又可以用誒幾個方法，你可以咁，即係 submission， 我你可以一隻，嗯，點樣用？點樣用啊？佢佢一打一次。跟住咧，你呢度咧，你可以用咩咩都得，你可以夾住佢，你可以打佢，你可以呢度咧，可以殺，得。咁啊，呢個第第一個誒，第一個 lesson 咯，係係即係咁樣學學法咯。哦。咁有我哋有刀，有槍，有棍。哦。Last day of the week. In the school, mm -hmm. it's a uh, last day, and uh, and I just want to go to school. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I know anyone who wants to go to school, but you know, sometimes it's nice to go to see your friends. So, did you manage to do the homework yesterday? Yes. Yeah? Uh, uh, there. Oh, excellent. Shall we go through it? Yeah? There. Okay, so yeah. what answers? What answers did you get? Um, Which one don't you know? I, uh, I know the words, but mm -hmm. I no see. Uh, the word I I know the words mean. Yeah. Yes. 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 Correct. Relatives. Relatives. Yes. Correct. That's it. Relatives. Yeah. Relatives. Yes. Relatives. Yeah. Excellent. I've seen a pop planet three times on the live performance and um, usually it's from Live, just again another childhood dream was to, to uh, hold, 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 hold. you know, and the the just the end. Yeah,其實是有一段時間是真的成功放鬆曬的 其實我本身比較敏感的 我們可能說關於阿花花小朋友的狀態去玩那種好奇心是怎樣的呢他嘗試去拿回自己的創意或者那種的屬於自己的一些資源 Set 
同埋即係其實我哋呢啲家長咧，即係好多時候喺喺出面，即係即係其他嗰啲人面前咧，係唔會去表達自己嘅。咁即係係我哋同一類嘅家長面前咧，我哋就好即係可以好放鬆嘅去講翻自己嘅嗰啲誒心情啊，係誒好多照顧者其實好多繁瑣嘅嘢喺佢個腦裏邊啦，每日嘅日程啦，照顧小朋友啦。頭先個家長講個安全就係唔使聽到電話響啊，或者係大教訓嘅時候。咁所以即係我哋都覺得希即係咯，希望今次呢一個嘅工作方案可以幫到即係家長可以誒誒、呃、提醒佢哋啦，係可以有一啲空間係俾翻自己，等自己可以即係被關愛先，關愛咗自己先可以關愛我哋自己屋企人。嗯，下次嚟咧唔好咁多人打電話，唔好太多人睇。I think the song came out in 1982, but I always heard the song, but I, I could never play it. So I, then I saw Stingley uh, play it acoustically, so he, he played it more like this. And then, and then he started singing. Every breath you Again, re referring back to the childhood, just hearing the songs uh, uh, as a kid and uh, just learning how to play them. Just uh, again another childhood song that uh, that I learned, mm. and everybody knows it. <laughs> um, so when I met him, yeah, it was kind of intimidating, but at the same time, Tony is super understated, and so you know I didn't know what to expect, but trained with him daily for months during 2009. So I just sort of got to know him. We'd hang out and have dinner or whatever. Just got to know him as a person, but even then, you know, you can only know somebody so much. And Tony, sort of legendarily, keeps to himself. So it wasn't hard working with him because I didn't have any scene with him until three years later. But, you know, we were involved in the training more so than the choreography because at that time, Yun Wapeng was is well was the choreographer. So. You know, he was the point man for all of this, and his team was the one that's choreographing all this stuff. 
and he has his way of doing things and we he didn't know us from Adam. So when we were there, we were just sort of there as, you know, reference material. So there's only so much we could do. Come up with ideas, try to pitch them, but that's that. Um, behind the camera, mostly all, all I could really do was just sort of watch the action and try to help out and not get in the way and not step on anybody's toes, but sort of like make eye contact with Tony and sort of you know, convince him to do things a little bit more authentically, let's say, or, you know, just help him out with certain emotions. In front of the camera, that didn't happen until the very end of production. I knew I had a role, but I didn't know what the role was, and I didn't even have, like, I didn't know what the role was until the day of shooting. I didn't have a script for my lines until the night before. In my case, it was just one camera behind glass, so you don't know where the camera's pointed. But of course, they're not trying to sell me, they're selling Tony. So there's a little bit of me, and even when I'm talking, it's on Tony. In Carl Weiss' case, it was more like, you know, sit there, do this, and it was over in like a couple of takes.
是的，是的，你你一样，我们走后面，先先走后面，可以放在这里。my lifetime, the yoga, is that when I was a kid growing up in England, yoga was something that the mystics did in the mountains of India. And it was some wrinkly, skinny guy in like a loincloth with his foot behind his head. Nobody knew anybody that did yoga. Somehow, in the span of my adult life, we went from that to everybody does yoga. Everybody has either done it or tried it or knows somebody who does it. So what happened is they took a previously esoteric mind body, spirit, practice, and made it relevant for everybody. Whereas before it was just this kind of esoteric practice in the Himalayas or in somewhere in India. Yoga means union. Most of us tragically in just asana tend to think it's a union just of our nose to our knees, or a union of our fingers to the ground. But actually, yoga is the union of the self to the divine. By whatever name, whatever form, whatever culture, whatever language, whatever religion or spiritual tradition you come from, that's what yoga is. And so yoga, the union, has the power to heal not just our knees, not just our backs, not just our waistlines, but to heal us internally, the body, mind, spirit, soul, divine split that so many of us live from and suffer from. It has the power to heal the family and the community and the nation. It has the power to heal the world. And so as we come together in yoga, it is so important to remember the lineage of yoga and the gift of yoga that has come to us by the sages and the saints and the rishis from the Himalayas in India, from the banks of Mother Ganga. Bruce, when I first met him, in Seattle, Washington, where I lived, and we both went to the University of Washington. He was teaching classes in Gong Fu, what he called Jan Fan Gong Fu. And I took lessons from him. And at that time, that was his dream, was to teach martial arts, to bring the beauty of his martial arts, Chinese Gong Fu, to the American people and to the world. I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, as Confucius say, but under the sky, under the heaven, man, there is but one family. It just so happened, man, that people are different. Yip Man is who instilled a love for martial arts in my father. He was able to affect him in a way that put him on a path that served him his entire life. This science and this art that breaks all borders of separation, of race, of religion, of color, of culture. We need to do the same thing with Kung Fu. We need to say this art also has a relevance to your life in a way that you don't realize. We want to share the body, mind, spirit practice of Kung Fu with you. And even if we can't approach the success in numbers of yoga, we can do more than we're doing. And I think the webinars, live events that we eventually will start having again, the books, the publications, everything is towards not really preaching the converted of people that already do Kung Fu, but trying to win over people who might have a misconception that it's like about death matches or, you know, that you, uh, I don't know, that you have to go and shove your fists into burning coals or whatever people think about Kung Fu, which is normally from the media or from some fantasy. And then we say, okay, well, this is what the real benefits are. 
My father used to say, everything that he learned about life, he learned through martial arts. And I think that when martial arts are practiced to their highest level, that they are really about that. They're a window into your own soul, and they're about teaching you life lessons. Dibu 沒試過的第一次啊第一次就搞搞法 哎,小心外有一隻 
，就说你愿意来学习，就因为陶瓷这个门槛呢，说高也高，也低也低，好多人不知道。但是我认为，我能把这个门打开，让他明白知道，就是我做到了。嗯，至于你学到什么程度态度，那是你的事情，跟我没关系。但是我能做到哪一点呢？我把这个门打开，让你看见这个东西怎么做的。<laughs> so yeah, talking about my passion, it's um, it's a very calming, tranquil thing. It's crochet, and in my hands, I actually have a bag in pro in progress. It's going to be a monster bag, or a a second one. Um, but. What crochet does is allows me to meditate both mentally and physically, which is a good thing because it allows me to create monster bags, something like this. Yeah, yeah, sausage mouth opening. But that's only just one thing. I mean, you can get really creative and make、uh, mermaid scale gloves. Or, if you like, not just practical things, but something like this. My warlock. The cloak actually comes off. Looks like that underneath, and it has a hood, so I can pull the hood over. But yeah, the meditation side is really, really soothing. It's it actually helps me balance out everything. So, no matter how irritated I might get, the moment I start doing crochet, it feels like the world just melts away, and I'm at a calm center again. So, sometimes crochet can get a little frustrating, but it's a good frustration. It's a nice way to problem solve while staying、uh, tranquil. The Hakka side of things. So I suppose I've got to uh, uh, Gongha uh, the history. So the first time they found out about the Zhengmen, I was about ten years old. It wasn't the village that we saw it now, right? You know that says Jin. It's not a、uh, Zai. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in 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 Hakao,、uh, they uh they say uh Yam Chan. Yam Chan. Yam Chan Zhu. 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 Yeah. Actually, just a ghost town. No, I think there was one person living there when 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 I first first went back. I knew that my family was from there, but again, because I was born in the UK, it was sort of like worlds apart from what I from、um, uh, what I knew. And you know, it's only as I've got older that I realised that、uh, you know how important that 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 history is.、Um, obviously, my father was a an adopted child. They made、uh, their living from uh, from uh, fishing. His father actually killed himself accidentally by using the firecrackers to to catch the fish. I think he accidentally went overboard, and the firecrackers went out and ended up、um, you know、uh, killing him. Uh, um, 嗰陣時咧，誒，佢哋話耕田咯，即係唔係做鹽田啊？即係我哋以前咧有有牛啊，有豬啊。And、uh, obviously moved、uh, during the mid fifties、uh, to the UK.、Right? So that's that's as far as I know. So I'm the youngest of six uh, six uh, children. 即係有三個家姐，兩個。I know for a fact that my mother and father did. Wo lo da de ho jo ying go. They could fun hoi sing something new. I think the reason why my father went is because there's there's a couple of things. I think the mass migration it was easy to go, and also、um, 
the uh, the fact that uh, going over to the UK was meant a start of a new life.陶瓷为什么能传承到今天那七十二道工序里面它是很痛苦的
好想啲口舌，我求啲口舌，係啊，佛手翻一翻佛手啦。咁而家你睇，你都睇到啊，倒數我已經喺呢十年咧都佛手咗。十間八間㗎，呢度兩間咯，咪先？你呢度兩間，我屋企又有兩間四間，嗰上面有一間誒、呃、叫簡樸生活嘅，啊有一間，零收支嘅有一間，而家保叔士多有一間，即係下年你過嚟咧又多三間啦。<笑>你睇到我運咗好多木材啊，睇到好多木材嗰度啊，啊個馬桶未搬，未搬，所以都都都。酸苦辣、辛酸都有，呢<笑>十幾年我我就。嗯、从事陶瓷艺术的人，一定是一种平和的心态。平和啊，平和，平和。它的特质不是要本质要。就说我就用两个字来，两个字来说明：静和静，干净的静和、啊、静下来的静。就是我们有一句话了，叫“静心抱静心抱冰雪”，啊，是吧？嗯、但我觉得，当你静下来的时候还不行。嗯嗯。要干净，要心静。嗯。说我谈的，就是说，在艺术的创作过程中，会遇到很多的问题。因为陶瓷是一个很特殊的艺术，它是技术和艺术的结合。那你必须掌握技术，你才能把这艺术显现出来。当然，你有了艺术的功底，你才能把技术展现出来。说这两者很矛盾。当一个人要是掌握这两者的技能的时候，非常痛苦。为什么呢？你要花出双倍的代价，你才能掌握到这种知识。这个釉比较稀，浓度，哦、嗯，点一点，哦、嗯，看一看效果。<笑>呃，这幅画呢，是它的名字叫《天地涅槃》。呃，咱们常说，呃，凤凰涅槃要重生。我觉得天地涅槃也要重生。这个呢，画面呢是，呃，从艺术的角度来讲呢，是表现那个五幺二的汶川大地震。嗯。大地震，我觉得呢，我作为四川艺术家的一个责任感，思考了几年来画这画，并不是当时地震完以后画的，是过了两三年以后画了这幅画。但是呢，这个用陶瓷来画这幅画呢。实际上呢，就表现一种什么呢？一种永恒的，嗯，一种纪念、嗯，就是说，呃，对这个事情，对这个发生的地震这个大的人间悲剧，但是我们通过写实的手法再现呢，就是说让人们记住地震给人类带来的灾难。
That is the beginning of wisdom. I have seen you laugh, and I have seen you cry. And you do not. We are taught discipline. The purpose of discipline is to live more fully, not less. But how shall I know if my sorrow is only the echo of self-pity, or my laughter, the preening of my own happiness? The bird sings in the forest. Does it seek to be admired for its song? Let tears come when your heart tells you of its sadness. Let joy come unasked, unplanned. done Wing Chun for the Grandmaster and so when Wilson Yip wanted to do another Yip Man 3 I guess it was sort of like a natural that he would do get Yip Man Ping and Yip Man Ping already knows me so and we'd already worked together so that's how I was in we did Yip Man 3 and Tyson's there and he's over the moon meeting Yip Man Ping and he's like oh, 
watched all your movies, and he was huge about the old 70s action stuff and 80s action movies, you know, kung fu movies. Um, it was a whole different grind from the Grandmaster. Grandmaster taking all the time in the world, and then whereas this thing was like more of a standard, you know, you go in, we work things out for three, four weeks for all the major action sequences, and bang, we start shooting.但是它实际上步骤是存在的那人也是这样的两个颜色的。And thank you for coming. And uh, next uh, next week we will finish uh, this form. Next week, and hope you enjoy this form. And hope you rem remember. And also, uh, if you have any question about the first part, second part, fourth part, you can ask me uh, next week. Also. Right? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. See for how yeah. Well done, see for. Come on. Go to the same way, same side, same side. 一路兜回來,一路沒有骨,好神奇,這個發發出來太陽不錯。I've got my focus down thanks to my crochet and the way it, uh, it helps me meditate. It means I can focus on straightening my spine. Um, 
and that will take a combination of things but most specifically it will require yoga which i hope i can take up again pretty soon no why yoga because apart from stretching ligaments stretching uh, the joints and loosening them up so they actually realign properly yoga will also help me with uh, help me more with my breathing uh, because the breathing especially when you start using the diaphragm and it will help you uh, help your spine realign because the entire thing affects your spine uh, if you look at biology and everything and it will also help my meditation which provides a different focus to the crochet meditation the focus is basically my posture how everything in the body is connected and how the ligaments how the joints how uh, the fascia feels it's a holistic approach to healing and that's what really works for me. I just need to find the right instructor.主动的是愿意做这件事情
嚟探圈仔啊！阿、啊、圈仔。So you're a teacher? I am a teacher. I teach Chinese Kung Fu. Like a gymnast? Yes, something like that. Yeah, man, four was shot in pretty much the same location. Like, see, we, we stayed in, like right across the street from where we stayed in Yip Man 3. So we had like a whole new location set up, like a whole new, we got an Iron Hawk soundstage and like Yip Man's apartment was built there. Actually, I didn't know I had a role until kind of like a few days before. Like, oh yeah, um, you know, you're gonna have this role or something. They just sort of like threw it at me. I didn't even know I was gonna have an action sequence until I think it was like a, a couple of hours before. And so we just threw something together and yeah. <laughs> In a way, it was it was very much the same. That it was just like, yeah, yeah, sure, you're gonna play like the dicey game by default. No, come on, man, that's not what? right. Don't matter. Whoa, chill, chill, relax. I'm just trying to share my thoughts. You they tell me tell me what's going on? Hmm. Hmm. La. Relax, we're Kung Fu brothers. Just listen to me. Calm down, man. Easy, easy. Just listen to me. Don't push me. I said don't push me. Very practical too. Like, you don't have to train. You don't have to get an actor and train him for one scene. Like, I, I know the action, and but there's a huge difference between how you would train for fighting and how you would train for an action sequence, and how you sell a punch or a kick and sell the the impact that it delivers and the rhythm of it. You know, in you see a lot of difference between the action from. 70s and 80s kung fu flicks, especially in the 60s, where it's it is operatic. That's the base, the background of you know martial arts in in, in the cinema at the time. Versus Enter the Dragon and the Bruce Lee movies, where he he has the motions of a fighter. He's in a fight. You don't want to dance. You you want to step on your partner's toes. You want to cause havoc for your partner, which is the, quite the exact opposite of what you want. You want it for like opera. It's gotta be all rhythmic. So it's like a whole other rhythm, rhythm, a whole other sense of flow. So it still has to seem realistic in that you're delivering damage, but it also has to have a rhythm to it. Here, I also have this, this boat here. Do I do I MMA? Okay, yeah, yeah. It was almost like a mystical figure as well because obviously you see him in the magazines, you knew that he died in the 70s. And obviously, my first experience of it was. Um, Watching it, uh, watching uh, watching Into the Dragon on on, t on the terrestrial TV. <laughs> yeah, this was 1926. So he almost early almost lost a leg, and this was um, when it kickstarted MMA. Really? Apparently wow. so. But uh, Bruce Lee was supposed to be the precursor by adapting different um, different styles to create deep. 
Body slam by Milton. Five games. And that it's a draw. It's a draw. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. <laughs>